Dajahao. I'm Nathan Rich, aka Hu Guo Da Wang. As many of you may have heard by now, YouTube has made a big change recently. In response to the YouTubers' union complaints and the generally horrible experience it is working as an unofficial employee for YouTube, they've updated their terms of service. YouTube bans channels it disagrees with. It's been proven over the last few years. But because people have gotten pretty upset about this, YouTube and Google have decided to do the right thing. Oh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. They've decided to do the wrong thing. They've decided to protect themselves and institutionalize their banning permission. That's right. Starting December 10th, YouTube's terms of service will include them reserving the right to block any access that they feel is no longer commercially viable. But it gets worse. If you've been watching my videos over the last year that I've been making them, you no doubt have heard about the extremely aggressive stance YouTube takes against Chinese people. They skew search results to support separatism. They actively go after channels like mine, and even told me point blank that their system was working as intended after I proved they were shadow banning real people as bots. No amount of captchas, phone verifications, or real communications with my subscribers was permitted for verification. To this day, my videos are routinely demonetized without cause, and my views, likes, and subscribers are silently reduced. Over 90,000 of my subscribers are just not counted. And again, YouTube stands by their decision in proclaiming my viewers are robots. Robots who comment, share, like, and even make videos about the fact that they aren't being counted. Take this video, Epic China, Episode One, for example. For hours, people commented on how the view count was frozen, then actually went down. I checked again 11 hours after it was published and found this: the views that count are less than 40,000. Meanwhile, on the back end, they haven't yet sanitized a certain area, which shows the actual views 48.6k. So almost 20% of my views are just magically removed. And of course, the video starts out demonetized without any reason given. And then later, if I'm lucky, it gets remonetized. And when I contacted them, they told me it was all working as intended. So of course I started telling people to go to hotpot.team in case my channel gets deleted. But they wouldn't do that to me, right? Well, not only have they admitted to me their system is intentionally biased, which I revealed in another video, now they've doubled down entirely. In the name of freedom of speech, they have decided to widen the circumstances under which they can crush your speech. Funny how that works, isn't it? Their speech is more important than yours. But I can already hear people saying, if you don't like it, go make another YouTube, okay? Should be no problem at all. I mean, they're making an estimated $15 billion per year. How much do you make? Or go use another platform that doesn't pay or has virtually no reach. Or it's attacked by the same companies which support YouTube. Attacked for supporting free speech. They will stop at nothing to crush competition while controlling speech on their platform while taking no responsibility for the speech on their platform. This is how corporations take over. This is how they take control. And starting soon, the following clause will be added to the terms. Quote, YouTube may terminate your access or your Google accounts access to all or part of the service if YouTube believes in its sole discretion that provision of the service to you is no longer commercially viable. Wow, that sounds so free. Let's break this down a bit. Legally speaking, this is what it could be interpreted as. YouTube employees can decide that giving you access to YouTube is no longer commercially viable. With, of course, no transparency on what that even means. If they decide that, they can not only delete your channel, they can block you from using YouTube even as a viewer. If you use an ad block, they can delete your account. If you make videos that are demonetized, they can delete your account. If they decide that your videos aren't what they want for their commercial interests, you can be blocked. If you make a video critical of their YouTube Premiere product, or in fact anything critical of them at all, they can delete you. Wonderful. But let's be real here. They can already block you. They can already delete accounts. They are well known for deleting political accounts they disagree with, especially when those accounts get big. So who cares about them just formalizing it? Well, that's the tricky thing. You see, when monopolistic corporations do whatever they want, it's one thing. But when they then spell out their ability to do so in writing, it's another. What they are doing is expressing their intent and flexing their power. They are intimidating content creators. Don't you dare go against us or we will crush you. Freedom. So what does the future hold? Are they just going to start banning like crazy? No. 
This is not a warning of immediate broad action. It's much worse than that. It's part of an ongoing migration from a platform that serves content creators to one that serves itself at the cost of content creators. And what does that mean for me? Well, YouTube remains the main way to contact the international community via video, and so I'll continue to use it. But there is one small way to protect against their wrath, and that's using another platform that I hate, Twitter. For many years, I refused to use Twitter, just as I refused to use Facebook. I just hate these overly corporate hate-breeding platforms. I really do. But the fact is, when YouTube deletes a channel it disagrees with, the only chance to get it restored is by whining about it on Twitter. So if you want to help me build some hope of protection against banning, the best free option is to follow me on Twitter. My username over there is NathanRichHGDW. So follow me there. Other than that, there is really no way to fight corporations like these without strong government. And the American government is partially or fully a puppet for companies like these. So for now, all we can do is stand back, look at the situation, and chuckle. Freedom of speech. It doesn't mean what you think it does. Thanks, everybody. See you soon.